Let's try this. I'm gonna try this legendary enemy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back, and let's continue on our run with Tainted Grail. Tainted Grail. We have an exclam ex exclamation mark. 38, I mean, sure. 38 HP only. Enemy intends to heal, enemy intends to use a normal attack. Let's play that. Uh, let's play Calm Breeze. The enemy intends to debuff. This disturbance, your deck has been infected with obsolete cards. Play this card to get rid of it. Summon an ally? Really? Okay. Block. Energy left. Now they're stunned. There's a blacksmith. A song breaks through the slithering of the weirdness. I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is but misty morning cold. Not long afterwards, you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. Oi, traveler. Want to buy a good anvil? It is all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there. Next minute gone. I found myself here with this lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. So what do you do? Craft weapons and armor? Oh, no. 
I left that life behind quite a while ago. All I'm interested in these days are rune stones. Rune stones? Yes, containers for the magic of giants. Even though you'll usually find them broken, they're extremely powerful. You can use them to enhance your weapons or armor. They will influence your abilities in different ways. Also, when you find three of the same kind and rarity, you'll be able to fuse them together. This will make them even more powerful. Here, let me give you some. You can try it later. I'd say that since you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way... Okay, I see, I see. I like how they also have that uh, British accent. Every single narr narrator or like voice actor has that British accent. I I guess you do. It is uh, Arthur and Merlin. It is in Britain. It is. Is it in Britain? Is it? Is it in England? I'm not sure. Okay, so weapon slot. Each card played increases your damage by five percent this turn. Okay, so you can put it either in the weapon slot or the armor slot, and they have different buffs. Exchange upgrade. You want me in your village? <laughs> well, you okay. must first prove I guess I don't have any weapons or armor. Kill ten bears and huh, just fooling for pity's sake. What would I need tin bears for? Show me the way. Combat encounters will now drop rune stones. I mean, can I even slay the golem <laughs> with 18 HP? I might just die here.
this is difficult. trap do I get more HP by leveling up I'm, I don't know game one block next turn draw one additional card with its cost reduced by one sure Heavy opening. First hit in combat deals 100% more damage. Block every second hit received in a turn. First attack type card played in each combat costs 0 energy. In each combat costs 0 energy. Let's try this. I mean I have 8 health. Good day, Fortune stranger. Seller. Are you in need of some guidance? It's a question asked by an eerie yet elegant woman who's just appeared in front of your eyes. She's of indiscernible age but looks strangely disturbing, standing peacefully within the weirdness. You can withdraw the course of your destiny and change the fate of your future fights. Come closer and see for yourself open the shop this is item shop weirdness mushroom i assume that you i don't keep any gold that i earn so let's try this fully charge your ultimate ability Hopefully this is not too difficult. Intense to buff. Negated. Ah. I'm gonna die. Within the darkness, you hear a familiar voice. Finally, now we can start the cycle of proper rebirth. A different voice appears out of nowhere, and its owner is nowhere to be seen. Be gone. It is calm. Inhumanly calm. Can I invite you to the table? You see a hooded figure waiting for you by the table. A chessboard sits upon it, the game in progress. As you take the free chair, you realize the creature has no face. A white skull leers from the shadows of the hood. A human skeleton draped with robes. I admit, I'm not used to showing up in person whenever people die. That's too much hassle with adjusting my presence to your current imaginations and whatnot. But let's say that your case is special. Well, I mean, that was... I guess I... Sh I'm not really sure. I, I... Is there like a HP healing place or something? 
for me to gain HP somehow. Um, I don't know. Anyways, I'm dead. Yes, and yes to that other question too. You're technically dead, but there are certain things that prevent you from, let's say, being properly gone. Recent events had consequences going beyond the intentions that sparked them. And now we're stuck in this unfortunate predicament, because time, as you know it, is irreversibly corrupted. Alright. <sighs> My man. One king commanded a great army in order to conquer an island. Another king pushed back with an army of his own. One wizard wanted to beat back powers he didn't understand. And the creatures of this island fought against them, using magic that wasn't meant to be used. You realize the pieces have reached a stalemate. Hmm, well, I mean, the wizard is supposed to be Merlin, King, another King, it's like Arthur and someone else. The past and the future are happening at the same time. All that you see is an sure. echo of things that already happened or eventually will. Presented without inherent sense, without purpose, without any logic. You see four figures on the board changing shapes into forms of beasts, and a moment later, they dissolve into dust. You must slay the guardians and keep slaying them until you reach the source conjuring them out of the weirdness. Their deaths will make you stronger. Yeah. This will lead sure. you to your destination. And I'm reversed or not yet? Okay. But this is a card, a card, and something. These cards and passives will be available once the course uh, over the course of your runs. Cosmetic items are added to your wardrobe. Mark yourself for an enemy for this turn. Targets. Damage will be increased by 100% and armor reduced by 50. Um, heavy Cyclone. 200% damage on all enemies. Reduce armor of all enemies by 10. This turn. Okay, so you, I have to recruit 7 villagers and save. 13 souls and they find the true final true final boss I guess um, that's a game progress you can stay here forever or go deeper into the weirdness to explore its mysteries okay Let's pick the healing potion option I mean can I... Okay, I can't choose anything else. Any other class. I can only choose the weird hunter for now. I mean... As expected, I didn't really... Make any progress. <laughs> uh, sure. I mean, actually... Like, I feel like I... Yeah, it's, I think I... Sh I didn't know that I would be, like, so easily killed. I thought it would be more... A little bit longer, but I... I will take a break here, um... Whether it'll be... Uh, and I will come back. I, I don't think it's gonna be the end of this video, so I will come back shortly after to continue uh, this second run. I mean, I, I don't...
I mean, I don't really know. I I feel like it's gonna be like really long. Uh, the second run is gonna be really long, so maybe it's gonna be uh, maybe this second video will be just really short, and then I will just uh, start off a new video on a a new run on this new run on a new video instead of doing this half run half run thing uh but anyways um yeah well see you guys in a bit or next video stay tuned hey guys i'm back and um yeah let's continue oh i'm playing from here more details basic fights basic enemies basic bosses okay i guess there is more difficulty levels like the covenant ranks in monster training or i forget what the difficulty settings is for slade aspire but didn't really place the slade aspire for that long anyways <laughs> and yeah i feel like I, this game is not that difficult i just need to unlock some cards and then actually actually get uh, get the good cards, I guess. As you approach the blacksmith, you hear him angrily mumbling to his anvil. I swear on my name. One day he'll pay. Who? Who are you talking oh, about? Oh, it doesn't matter. Not at this point. Now I'm here and happy. It's just an old habit of mine. His eyes say otherwise. Something is clearly on his mind. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that you've invited me to your village, and I can now hammer away in peace and safety. Okay, and... Upgrade. This is for... Okay, so this is for, like, for the rune stones and stuff, but... Right now, I... Do I have... Uh, yeah, I have I for... Inventory and ultimate ability masteries passive rune stones. Okay, can the blacksmith is don't even think about bringing other blacksmiths here with you. This village is mine. We are sure, whatever. Uh. Unlock transmuting rune stones. Five, uh, what is that? Rune stone dust. Upgrade. Wait, let's see. What? Not really understanding how this rune stone works. Do I just buy and then I can just? The I think I can just. I just buy. Well, <laughs> that is loud. Anyways, let's see. I just buy a runestone. Increase max HP. Let's try this. And then... Uh, do this. Blacksmith is Okay, I think let's see. Increase damage by two. Each card played increases your damage by five percent this turn. Weapon slot 
Um, let's sure. We'll try this and then. And then see if I need to buy potions. I'm not really sure if I need to buy potions. I have four potions. I'm hoping that I can actually get some potions after I go out. But who knows. I have zero gold, so I think it's maybe better to spend all your gold. Um, okay, I can't go that way. Okay, so let's just fight some normal enemies. Yeah, just very normal enemy. A rock? Um... It's done. And I'll do small strikes. Okay. I mean, I think I should actually start off with easy fights, unlike the last video, the last run that I did. Um, I started off on the boss, I think. Raw power. Um, raw power seems good. Reduce the enemy's armor by 50 and damage by 10% for the next 5 turns. Let's try that. Heal 25% of missing HP after each victorious combat. Uh, I think I want this. Duplicate every 6 attack type card played. Start every combat with 2 additional energy. Let's try the healing. I, I, I'm not sold on like having healing is good, but since uh, healing is quite difficult to uh, to tap, maybe maybe I should uh, get some healing. Receive a word a candle. Let's just As banish. This seems like a very difficult find. Yes. Intends to buff and debuff. This is a normal attack and heal. Um piercing strike this is this guy gains really i had to kill these things first these undying subjects okay so this enemy will resurrect after death and attack its master once before the old habits of loyalty and devotion kicks back in okay this enemy will attack his own subjects to heal himself and try to debuff him. okay i see Not really sure. Maybe like I think I know that it's the so the combat the order is from this way from left to right um, from this direction left to right. So I think if I block, I will block this twenty-two damage.
нет? Enemy intends to attack all allies and buff. I got hit for 45? So I guess I am supposed to just kill these things and let these things attack the master. Strike here. Ninety six. That is a lot of damage. There we go, offense is defense. Alright, so uh, let's see. Double ping. Duplicate the next card played. Duplicate. Place the card again for zero energy. Gain one block this turn and one block next turn. Deal four hits. Four hits for a hundred percent damage. That seems pretty good, I think. To all enemies. Found what Treasure was pile. protected when you filled your pockets up to the brick. Then let's go. Um. 
Unlock a new armor slot for runestones. Let's try this. This seems like a... Armed Wanderer. Enemy intends to heal. And then we have an attack here. Oh, this guy redirects... Redirect damage from Faith Healer. Gets interrupted by stun. I mean... I think I can just... Like... Smack it? I mean, I don't really care about this. uh... About it getting healed. Let's try this. Then I'll do the Storm of Blades. Now this guy attacks me. I think it's just too late. Block. Piercing strike. Small strike. Armed wonder. He holds one weapon in his hand and has one weapon on his back. This strikes you as a bit excessive, unless he's a traveling weaponsmith. The blood covering his leather jerkin is not his own. It seems he can take care of himself. Before you get any stupid ideas, I used to be a master at arms at Halfway. Trained many young warriors there. If you've gold to spare, I could teach you a thing or two. Learn a new skill. Get one out of three advanced cards. Or remove a card. Huh. Remove a card. Removing cost me 100 gold. Can I see what my card? Yep. Deck. Maybe. Maybe I get rid of an attack card? Let's try it. I mean, the attack cards is just very basic. What the hell? Enemy is preparing for a special attack. I mean, let's do Storm of Blades. I know these two guys are gonna do something bad. Everyone on the battlefield. Attack everyone. All enemies. All enemies, I mean, just me here, so... I do this. 11 to 15. Um. Do this. I'll attack it twice and 
den pull off. What just happened? What? How, how did both of them die? I'm not really sure how, but sure. Card. Random attack. Deal one damage for fifteen, uh, for one hundred fifty percent damage to a random enemy. Stun a random enemy. Reduce random enemy's armor by fifty this turn. Block the next hit of a chosen enemy. Hmm. Let's do this. Whenever you play two, I um, mean haste. Whenever you kill an enemy, draw one card. Whenever you play two or less cards in a turn, your first hit in the next turn deals a four hundred percent damage. Opening strike. Two or less cards. I mean, it can happen if I play a two cost and a one cost. That's two cards. But I think let's go for opening strike instead. This seems like a very difficult fight. Candle maker. The choking stench of tallow permeates the air. The candle maker's house stands alone within the weirdness. The inquisitive tendrils held at bay by dozens of flickering weird candles. There are many grisly tales about candle makers who secretly made their candles out of people they were supposed to protect. Inside, the candle maker leans heavily on his cast iron mold, barely managing to stay awake. So fast! Oh! Why do they burn out so fast? Oh, perhaps if I... No, I may need both later. It takes a while for him to notice you. The candles aren't snuffed out, are they? You're not one of the weird spawn. Doesn't matter. I can't sell you any anyway. I barely make enough to keep myself alive out here. Oh, uh... It Just doesn't ask take him. Much okay. To convince him. Lead the way. I'd like to be in a place where I don't have to use all my goods myself, and where the ingredients to make them are easier to obtain. His last words almost make you regret your decision. Rear candles will now drop from legendary encounters. They will help you. Legendary encounters like these guys. Pack of enemies. Okay, I can hover. Okay, I see. I can hover to see. Um. Let's boost.
Can I check? Yeah, I can check. First attack type card plays, yeah. Okay, so I can... Broad... Broad Reach first. And then Storm of Blades. Um, block doesn't do much. to kill this guy. I was hoping that I would be able to at least kill this guy. Um, I can't even kill this guy. It's a two hit. Oops. Try this. I'm gonna try this legendary enemy. Is this the sco stone golem? It feels like it. This is the stone golem. Just block, and then. To broad reach. Seventy-five. This music is so this is so interesting. This is such an interesting music. Golem will spawn a new enemy after receiving six more hits. Huh. One block and one energy, draw one card, boost 10 armor until the end of combat. Draw one card. Piercing strike it. Um, that's done. Holy shit, this is 
Really? This guy gets to attack me right away? I guess. Stun the golem, lose 10 armor until the end of combat. Might as well. That is not... Really? That was not 10 hits. Was that 10 hits? Lots of damage coming in. Oh, I should have used broad reach before the, using my ultimates. I always forget about this card here. I 
that is pretty nice. Yeah, I don't need to play the risk card. Okay, so six more hits until the next one. Um. Three times ten. That is. I don't have that many. Uh, blocks. Okay, stun. I guess stun. Why does he just randomly summon new enemies? I don't understand. He just randomly summons new enemies. It says here like spawn a new enemy after receiving five more hits. Like I, I believe I, I like I didn't even hit it. I just hit this stone here for like two times and then just stunned the golem and then and then he just like the, does he get stunned? Oh, okay. I, I didn't read this. Will spawn a new enemy after being stunned. I mean, that is stupid. Whenever you kill an enemy, you gain 10 ultimate charges. This is actually really good. If I do get this. Increase the maximum number of ultimate charges by 10. Have the summoner. All right. I guess uh, that is. Um, yeah, I mean, like learning, learning. I guess. 
<sighs> Start with two more healing potions. Um, I don't think I need the wealth. Let's just start with the, the healing potions, and then when I when I understand what to use the gold for, I'll try to use the gold. Every time a minion gets hit, their summoner receives damage relative to their level. Summoners' minions need to be activated through spells, however, they can be promoted and grow in power endlessly. Pa three passive skills. Summoners change their ultimate ability whenever they activate a minion. They can promote a selected minion by a, by a specific number of levels, depending on the number of charges they spend. Start every combat with a summoned golem. Golem protects its allies by redirecting enemy hits towards itself. Abomination attacks all enemies on the battlefield. Worm. Worm attacks random enemies and reduces their armor. Let's try this uh, summoner class. Faction Moon Ring. Let's try it. I mean, it's something new. Uh, why not? <laughs> like, yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, compared to the weird hunter, maybe this is better. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Ah, good to see you. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. This place right here is where I fill the molds. You're welcome to come by here at any time. But over there. The candle maker points to a greasy, thick curtain shrouding the deeper parts of the house. That's where the secret part of the process takes place. Do not go in there. Understand? Never. Under any circumstances. Map related upgrades. You earn tallow by working, walking, burning by walking, burning weird candles. Currency used to buy permanent upgrades at the candle maker. You earn tallow by walking, burning weird candles. Walking, burning weird candles. Okay, so it seems I have eight tallow already. Oh, so you heal as a milestones. Okay, I believe these are just for this current run. So I, I'll just hold off on those. Um, blacksmith. I mean, let's see what cards I have first. Okay, right, we have spell, sigil, and summon. Activate a minion. Order a minion to perform an action. Cast a spell on a specific target. Activate a minion. Great. Oh, 10 barrier, a pool of additional HP. Promotion. Raise the level of your minion. Increase minion's damage by 50%. Only 4 minions can be present on the battlefield at a time. Abomination. Golem. Fey. Summon a minion only 4. Minions can be present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fei Fei uh, Fei wake weakens enemies and grants ultimate charges to his master. Worm attacks random enemies and reduces their armor. Okay. The blacksmith is hard at work when you. Let's. I'm just gonna buy. Just do the same thing and buy two. Uh, 
What are these rune stones? Let's do this and that's for the armor slot and let's go there for that for the weapon slot. Okay, so this for the armor, this for the weapon. Oh, okay, so you can like choose which one to summon to have as your uh, passive skill. If you start a turn with no minions, draw a random summon card. Okay, I see. No level limits on minion protect promotion, but after. Uh, Every received hit, they damage their master for every level they have. Uh oh, and we have we only start on eighty health instead of a hundred. All right, I think be good for this video. In the next video, we will start a new run and uh, see where we get. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I will have more. What is this game called? Tainted Grails. Uh, Tainted Grails is coming up in the next few days. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.